Good afternoon. I'm here with my favorite oldest grandson, Trey. And we are in the town of Memphis at uh, Trey's house. And they have a nice lake in their backyard. And uh, so, hi, Trey. And he's going to step out of the scene here while we look at Jude again. Jude verse 1. Jude, a bondservant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to those who are the called, beloved of God the Father, and kept for Jesus Christ. Now, our friend Timothy has underlined the word kept, and he's written in the margin that kept means a continuous loving watch and guard over, like a mother and her child. And I'm reminded of Peter who told us that we are kept by the very power of God. And then I'm also reminded of Jesus' prayer. He says, Holy Father, keep them in your name, the name which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are. You think that God answers Jesus' prayers? I think so. So we are kept by the very power of God. If we have asked Jesus to be our Savior and forgive our sins, and if we receive his death on the cross on our behalf, then we don't have to worry about being unsaved because we are kept in the power of God. We don't keep him, but he keeps us. And that makes me happy today. What about you, Trey? You want to come and say hi or bye? Goodbye? Okay, bye-bye.